Hey everybody, just wanted to show you, uh, these are some ducks that we got at Tractor Supply about a week and a half ago, and they've already at least doubled in size. Um, <clears throat> and we've got them in one of these bins. They're getting really close. We're gonna move them out of this container uh, real quick. Uh, but I wanted to show you, here's some chicks. These are wine dotes. Um, but I wanted to show you when we first got the ducklings, we started with the water like that. And, uh, you know, they're a couple bucks, whatever. Uh, but that little cup got full of shavings almost instantly. And they were constantly, you know, splashing the water out and all that kind of stuff. So then we spent $35, I think it was, 34, 35 bucks on this, which is a duck waterer. It's designed for ducks. Um, I haven't cleaned it yet. I need to clean it out. Um, but it's got these strainers that pull out and it has these cups that are supposed to keep them from getting their body down in there and all that stuff. Uh, this thing is terrible. That's my review on the, the, <laughs> the duck water that they sell at uh, Tractor Supply. Um, this thing has no texture on it at all, no handles or anything like that. So when you need to change the bedding, and this still has a lot of water in it, it's really heavy and it's almost impossible to get your fingers underneath there without sloshing water everywhere and stuff. It's really hard to pick up. Um, that is a terrible design flaw. If they had just put a little lip here on all three sides, you'd at least have purchase for your fingertips to pick it up. Um, this thing was terrible. They also, while they can't get their body in there, their feet go in there. So as they run across it, they'll slap their foot down and splash a bunch of water out. And we were having to change all this bedding uh, at least almost every hour because they were, they were sp spilling so much water out. So that got frustrating because we were going through a lot of the, uh, you know, the, the pine shavings and stuff. And <laughs> So this is what I came up with right here. Sorry, let me move the, uh, the screen here. Oh, it's hard to do one-handed. I didn't think about that before I started recording. So what I did was I got a bucket, Lowe's bucket, and I drilled a two and a half inch hole in it with a hole saw and a drill. And I fill it up to, you know, about half an inch or so from the bottom of that hole. And then just to help me see where the water level's at, I threw a fishing bobber in there. You could use a ping pong ball or whatever. Um, it just makes it easier to see because the lighting in here is weird because of the heat lamp and stuff. And I'm in a shed. Uh, so that's how I see the water level. Um, but this thing has been amazing. Uh, we just changed the bedding a little bit ago, and I don't know if you can see, there's an area, you know, about that big right there that's wet. Um, after keeping this in here overnight, we only had a little wet area right in front of here. All this other bedding was dry this morning, and that's amazing for ducks. <laughs> um, but they're able to get their head in there and everything, and I know this is a, this is a temporary solution, but I wish I had done this from the very beginning because even if you, even if you bought three buckets and drilled holes at different levels, because you know there's they were a lot smaller when we first got them, uh, they wouldn't might not be able to reach up to here. Um, another thing you could do is just put a brick there or some scrap wood or something so they can get up. Um, I'd, I'd rather use a rock or a brick that's non-absorbent, um, but. Yeah, it, I mean, it's it's worked phenomenally, and it cost me a bucket, you know? <clears throat> um, but this has been amazing. And we just lift the whole thing out, scoop out that little bit of bedding, and put it back. Uh, so that is by far the best and cheapest duck waterer that we've come across. Uh, not even, I mean, I, I mean, I thought of that myself, but... Uh, <laughs> Um, that's bulletproof. It works great. It's also uh, the, just about the same height as our, our pin here, so we can put a, a screen over it. And if you 
you've never had ducks and you're thinking about starting ducks, they're very, very skittish. So the less we have to move this, the, the better they are, the, the calmer they are. And we could just pour water right in through that, um, you know, just to top it off every now and then. Uh, I do still take it out and I hose it out and everything just to keep it clean. Um, but there has been almost no uh, chips. There's been zero poop. There's been no food or anything in the water. And it was there overnight. Um, when we switched to this, because it's such a foreign object to them, I did put their heads in there like you do with chicks uh, to show them where the water was. <clears throat> and then I did that last night. And then this morning I came out and there was a little bit of water in front. So I knew that they had actually um, used it. Not a little bit of water, but a, a little bit of wetness with the, uh, the chips there. <clears throat> Going back to this monstrosity, um, it got to where... So this, this bin is sitting at a very slight angle. This corner back here is the lowest part because our floor in the shed isn't even. And we had almost an inch of water in that corner. And this whole side was just swamp um, when we were using that waterer. So this is, this is an amazing um, thing. I highly suggest people try it out. And if it doesn't work for you, for whatever reason, you're out, you know, 350 for a bucket. Um, this is actually also works so good that I think as they get bigger, I might go ahead and, uh, you know, put a lid on it and raise the hole in a different bucket, obviously, but put the hole higher and put a lid on it. And that way I can put it inside like a chicken tractor if I'm moving them around the yard or anything like that. Um, but I just wanted to share that because the, the results from this have been phenomenal over the last, I don't know, 24 hours or so. Um, <clears throat> it's been really great. If you make one of these, make sure your hole is big enough that, you know, they're not going to get their head stuck, obviously. But also think about uh, if two of them try to get water at the same time, they both shove their head in there, are they going to get stuck, you know? Um, I went with the biggest hole saw I had, which was two and a half inches. And I also uh, used sandpaper and I sanded around the edge so that the, the hole doesn't have any sharp edges or anything that they could, you know, cut their cheek on or something. Uh, and that's about it. So I hope this helps somebody else. Uh, take care and have a great day.